Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Biscoff wagon wheels, let's begin. To get started on the recipe, you'll want to make the biscuit part of the recipe first, so to do that, grab yourself a mixing bowl and place in your butter and your icing sugar, then mix everything together until it's fully combined. You are looking for something lighter and fluffier in colour and consistency. Once you've achieved lighter and fluffier, you can then go ahead and add in your egg yolk and your vanilla extract and then mix this in until it's fully incorporated. You will notice the consistency of the dough does change, but don't worry, this is completely normal. Then you can go ahead and add in your plain flour and just mix that in on a low speed until a dough forms. I know it's not usual to make a biscuit dough in a stand mixer, but this recipe just works really well. So then give the bowl a good scraping down and this will help to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. Then flour your work surface with a liberal amount of plain flour. Then place your biscuit dough onto it, getting some of that flour in so you, can, you are able to handle and work with the dough. You don't need to chill this first, just roll it straight out. So when it comes to rolling the dough out, you want to get it to around 5mm in thickness, no thinner or no thicker. Once you've achieved the right consistency, you can take your cookie, cookie cutter and cut out your rounds. You want to get as many out of the first roll as possible, so try and be as best you can with working with the, the dough. Place your cutout onto a baking tray which has been lined with some parchment paper and bake them off. All that information will be in the blog post down below. Then you can go ahead and make the marshmallow which goes inside. So for that, grab yourself a saucepan, place in your sugar, your liquid glucose and then place onto the hob. So while the sugar and glucose are coming up to temperature, take a bowl of water and place in your leaves of gelatin. You'll want to place them in and make sure that they are fully under the water and they become softened. This normally takes about 5 minutes. In the meanwhile, you can set that aside and then keep an eye on your other mixture as you want it to come up to the temperature. Transfer the jelly gelatin leaves from the water, squeezing as much liquid out. Place it into a saucepan with, the re with some more water. And then just keep stirring it until it's fully dissolved into the mixture. You can then go ahead and grab a mixing bowl and place in the gelatin and water mixture followed by the egg whites and just whisk these together until they become lighter, fluffier and you'll, you'll notice a much thicker consistency and this is what you're looking for. It will start to go foamy, then it'll start to go whiter and it'll become this more solid white. You can then slowly but steadily add in the hot liquid sugar and liquid goat glucose and just pour this in until it's fully incorporated. Whisk until the mixture is cool and you'll notice that it thickens up and this is what you are looking for. It should still be smooth and glossy. Once you've achieved that, you can add in your flavouring. I'm using vanilla extract and just whisk that until fully incorporated. Then transfer into a piping bag of your choice, fitted with a round nozzle. I recommend using a round nozzle, but it's really up to you. Then you can take some of your biscuits, half of them, and pipe a ring of the marshmallow around the outside of your biscuits onto one half and just repeat this with all of your biscuits until you have none left. As you can tell it's really easy and you could add more marshmallow or less. But this recipe does make a lot so you may want to halve it. Then into the centre that you've left empty, fill with Biscoff spread. These are just so good. If you like Biscoff this is perfect. Now you've got them filled and you've got the marshmallow piped in. You can finish them off by pressing the lids on. So then you've just got like a marshmallow sandwich biscuit. But then we'll want to make a coating. So place your biscuits aside until you need them. Then into a heatproof bowl, place in your Biscoff spread, followed by the white chocolate chips, and place over a double boiler and allow to melt. Then when you start to see it melting, you can start stirring everything together, and you'll get this kind of lovely kind of light brown colour. I don't know how to describe it, but it'll just be like this light Biscoff colour, and it should be smooth and glossy with no lumps. If there's lumps, just keep mixing. Take that mixture and paint the bottom of your wagon wheels, and this will just make sure that they are finished because you don't want to get the bottom of the biscuit and just see it exposed. You want to ensure that it's all got this, that delicious Biscoff coating. So when it comes to pouring over the Biscoff coating, you can do it however you like, but I find a piping bag gives you a bit more control and I, that's just the way I like to do it. So when it comes to doing this, get yourself a wire rack or cooling rack, place your biscuits on and then pour over the Biscoff spread mixture that you made and then on top place a Biscoff biscuit and that's all you're completely done. As you can tell not perfect but hey it's Christmas who doesn't enjoy a homemade treat. 
So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to all the social media, so don't forget to go and follow me over on there. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys. <laughs>